Hundreds of anti-war campaigners have gathered outside a military base in Lincolnshire today where RAF pilots have started operating remote-controlled drone aircraft over Afghanistan. The MOD confirmed this week that control of armed intelligence and surveillance flights had moved there from a US facility in Nevada. With more, our defence correspondent Caroline Wyatt. The RAF's high-tech drones have been flown for several years over Afghanistan by British pilots working in America at an airbase in the Nevada desert. Now, though, the squadron piloting the UK's Reapers is based in Lincolnshire, and the first missions flown remotely from here earlier this week attracted protests today. Demonstrators from groups such as Stop the War Coalition, CND, and the Drone Campaign Network gathered to express their fears about the use of drones. I think there's something very sinister about the idea that military personnel in Lincolnshire can attack or uh, kill people in far-off countries, thousands of miles away, at the push of a button. So what is a Reaper drone and what can it do? Well, it's 11 metres long with a wingspan of some 20 metres. It can carry four Hellfire missiles as well as at least two laser-guided bombs. As used by the RAF, it can stay in the air for more than 16 hours at a time with around 95% of the UK's Reaper missions for surveillance. The controversy stems in part from the CIA's use of drones to kill suspected Al-Qaeda members in Pakistan or Yemen without trial, sometimes causing civilian casualties. RAF pilots, though, have to obey strict rules of engagement over Afghanistan. They're fundamentally watching over British forces and their Afghan allies in Helmand province. They're not out to kill bad guys in the Yemen or Pakistan. This is supporting British troops and Afghan nation rebuilding. The UK is due to stop its Reaper missions over Afghanistan after 2014, when British combat operations there end. Caroline Wyatt, BBC News. And protests after the RAF confirmed they're controlling armed drones in Afghanistan from the UK. An RAF base was targeted by anti-war protesters today following the confirmation that it had begun to remotely control armed drones in Afghanistan. It's the first time the drones are being controlled from the UK at RAF Waddington in Lincolnshire. But the Ministry of Defence say they won't be used for targeted assassinations, a practice that's produced outrage against the American use of drones. Our political correspondent Carl Dinnan has more. It's one bit of military kit Britain is buying more of. Remotely piloted aircraft operate in Afghanistan, but their pilots sit thousands of miles away. Earlier this week, a new squadron started controlling British Reaper aircraft from Lincolnshire. Anti-war campaigners die. object to the spread of what they call drones. Today, hundreds of demonstrators protested outside their new base at RAF Waddington. I think people feel there's something very sinister about the idea that uh, some military personnel in Lincolnshire can target unknown persons in Afghanistan or elsewhere with the push of a button. But there's another side to the argument. At the Army-Navy <laughs> rugby match at Twickenham this afternoon, there was, perhaps naturally, support for drone technology. I've got no objections to it. Our boys out, out in Afghan, definitely. Yeah. Why risk lives a machine can do it? And I think it's very well done. It's so Armex Army, so no, no objections at all, no. You think they're a, a useful weapon? Of course they are. You stop shoulders getting hurt, and then fair play. The truth is that remotely piloted aircraft are incredibly useful to the armed forces. The whole point of these is to a guardian angel over the British Army and their friends in Helmand province to see over walls, to see what bad guys are doing 20 miles ahead, to see who's planting an IED. But controversy surrounding the use of drones has been fuelled by the CIA's covert campaign of assassination against those they believe are terrorists. The MOD says Britain's remotely piloted aircraft are mainly used for reconnaissance and when their weapons are fired, they are subject to exactly the same rules of engagement as piloted aircraft. Carl Dinnan, ITV News at the Ministry of Defence.